What do you think about this? Well, uh, I, I guess appear first and foremost... Because you're a lawyer, aren't you? Exactly. Mm. I guess I, I appear here tonight, not as an immigration lawyer or as some kind of activist or advocate for the position, yeah. but as somebody... So why do you appear here? Well, I believe in the rule of law. And uh, in well, the first instance... we all believe in the rule of law, but sometimes law has to be changed. Well, I'm glad you should say that, because the, if we're going to have a debate about that kind of thing, it should start, first of all, with our treaty obligations and whether we should follow them in the first instance. No, we should leave that. OK. Well, do you want me to tell you your answer? Go on. My answer? All right. Well. So the Refugee Convention suggests, and in fact mandates, and anyone who's signed it, that if somebody is a genuine asylum seeker, somebody who's judged by a due process, not just because we don't like the way that they've come in, but just by a due process... Are you to, completely stupid? Uh, you haven't heard what I'm no, going to say. No, because yet, what so. you're going to say is very annoying to me. I want... You know, I am very angry inside. I'm not allowing it to come out. These people who come in rubber boats or the backs of lorries are criminals. There's a legal way to come into this country. These people are breaking it, breaking into our nation. And the majority of people in this country are fed up with it. You want an answer to that or shall I continue as I was going? I'd actually answer it or you can continue out. OK, all right, well, we're going to... Just answer it. OK, well... What I was you don't going have to say. To. I'm not forcing you to well, stay here. Well, in fact, you invited me to be here. As you know, I've travelled 200 you, you miles. You don't. For the I thing. don't and, know how long and, you've and, travelled. Ah, but you know what? I you, don't you, actually care how long you've travelled. Well, you were asked to come on the programme because I want to talk about this situation with somebody who has a different point of view. But I didn't think somebody would come on and as radically say, you know. These people have a right to come here until we what find I'm, out who they are. But actually, James, what I'm saying is not radical. What I'm saying well, is, th is, is. is that when, when we as a nation have signed a, a, an international treaty... You mean the ECHR, look, no, following well, the, the courts? Well, the, the ECHR has, uh, 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 has something to say. About but we're bound by it, and other European nations yeah. aren't, because they can but use actually, EU law yeah, and not be bound, but we are bound no, by it. No, absolutely. And, well, that's and ridiculous, and, isn't it? And actually, our obligations go back ash further than that, yeah, but it wasn't... In the old days, like Churchill, it was envisioned for people we, subjugating Ash, people, not people who just Ash, want to leave their country because there's a war. Ash! Do you know what I mean? Ash! It's I would like to hear down. Joseph's yeah, response. Okay. Or you can both so, go. Uh, all right. right. Uh, easy on Ash, though. We're, we're yeah. all friends. Yeah. We're so, not all friends <laughs> at all, because people like you annoy me intensely. That you okay. want to make a... I, mean, you I, don't, want to I make, don't have to stay. You, no, well, any time you want to go, the door's over there, well, and uh, I wouldn't keep you against uh, your At the moment, I'm regarding but, my invitation but, as oh, excellent. for goodness sake. But it has changed, hasn't it, from yeah. Churchill's times, when we well, let subjugate... It's an interesting question, actually, Ash, because... Excuse me, I'm sorry to butt in. But it's a really dull, boring question. I don't want to know about the law, the history and everything else. I want the people who are coming here illegally sent out. I want them stopped. I don't want them sent to Rwanda. That's a ridiculous waste of our money too. I want the Navy in the channel okay. and people trying to come here in boats and, you know, not come the legal Their lives route. are in danger as well in France. I want obviously. them sent back to France. All right, all right. So, let's, let's, so why so, are you against that? So we've started, and let's hope that I get to the end of my answer this time, James, with respect. But Probably not. we've talked we'll about see. people who come illegally. Yes. Well, actually, the process by which it's decided if they've come illegally, the process that by which it's decided, James, if they are criminals, is one that's considered by a court and our due process. We need to change the law then, don't we? Because it's got ridiculous that so anyone can just come How and can they get in. How can you decide when people get rid well, of their... Well, if somebody's a refugee in the first instance, somebody who's, who's for example, fled persecution... Somebody well, from France? Who's... Well, no, Is because France these such countries... a bad place to you, Joseph? Well, I tell you what, France takes more than we do. In fact... Why don't they take fact, a bit Ash, more, then? Well, in fact, what happens when we say, OK, well, we're taking loads more of these people than others, actually, we take half as many Not saying as that the rest of the Euro European Not saying countries. that. We are a land. small yeah. landmass, yeah. and we have not got got enough teachers, doctors, nurses... We've got to the same look population after these. Making France, it, but half the yeah, land. Yeah, making, it, making a land. valid point there, I would say, James. And when we're yeah. talking about the competition for resources of hospitals, schools, I'm very sympathetic to that. But to blame that on immigrants... No, it's the law. We need migrants. to change the law. These are not let me finish, immigrants. Let me finish, the, no, let me finish. no, you because you question. go on. This doesn't these work people... if you don't let me speak, James. Goodbye. Wait, is no, that it? No, if if, wait, if no. that's what you think, it doesn't because work unless you get me. You let me don't, give an answer. No, I'm not going to let you go I'm around. I'm really the trying to engage with these Why questions. Why don't you answer the question because, that I've asked because you? Because sometimes People one needs the attention illegally. span to get to the end it's of a paragraph to, to understand in. what the answer is. It's too easy to get in. All right, thank you very much. I don't need to talk to somebody as condescending and as rude as you are. Thank you very much. I ask a question. 
I really can't get to the point. It's got to go another 200 miles now. Well, I, uh, look, I want to know why a lawyer would actually think that he can, he can, he can just avoid the question. He could probably get the same train he came here on, if it's still there. Oh, shut up, Ash. Really? I mean, I just, I just think... Poor guy. ..that, yeah, it, it, it really is. He, you cannot, when I ask the question, there has to be an answer. These yeah. people come into well, this country illegally. Well, no, he's right, it's legal, but it's because we've got ridiculous laws now that we can let anyone in How who gets How can it. it be legal for it's somebody just... to pay You just have to criminal. say, you're an asylum seeker and that's it, you legally can come in. And that is the stupid way of the law. That's just... I everyone just, gets in. I just think it's getting. ridiculously stupid. Ian it's in stupid. Cambridge. It's Ian. Very stupid. Hello, guys. How are you this evening? Well, I was OK, fuming. but now I'm fuming. Fu